Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do a flickering effect on a cleanup. So let's get started. So I have the standard 1080p sequence. So uh, the first thing I have to do is create a cleanup. So before that, I will set this in and out values. I will be doing from 300 to 433. You can see here that the camera does not have any rotation on any parallax movement. So it is just a simple position movement so that I'll be using a planar tracker for this cleanup. So I'll add a planar tracker node. As uh, you could see, uh, this sequence just has a translation. So what I will do is I will disable this scale, rotation, shear and perspective and I will select the area for this cleanup. As uh, we have to track forward from 300 to 433 so I'll click track to end so now you can see that we have got a pretty decent planar tracker for this sequence uh, what I'll do is I'll go to this first frame where I have uh, created this roto and I will click this icon so what this will do is this will set this particular frame as the reference frame so I will uh, select this frame so now this uh, reference frame has been created. So I have to uh, use these track values. If you click this track options, you can select either uh, relative or absolute. Uh, relative is for something. If you have a cleanup of the same resolution of this uh, track footage. And uh, in the other case, you can select absolute. So as we are going to clean up on the same sequence, I will be selecting a uh, relative. And now we have this track data. So let's proceed with the cleanup. I'll be selecting this uh, clone tool. You can press shift to increase and decrease the size or uh, you can also change the size in here. You can change the opacity and hardness here. I'll be setting this to 0 0.8 and I will select this clone tool. And if you press control, you can start painting. Okay, so I have painted on this 300 frame. So what I will do is I'll add a frame hold node and I will set this first frame to 300 and now I'll be adding a roto node and only select and cut this area I will change this to RGBA and uh, I'll give this a little bit of feather And what I will do is I will add this track data below this photo and now you can see that the cleanup is moving as per the track data so if I do add a merge node as this should be on foreground I will be giving this to EA and uh, this to B and if I connect with merge node and uh, disable all these properties so you can see that the roto area is perfectly matching so the reason why we are getting this white halo is because this footage does not contain an alpha to fix this we have to select this auto alpha option so that uh, so the cleanup works pretty much good so now the cleanup portion is done now it's time to add this flickering effect so for this what we have to do is we should add a multiply node So what this multiply node does it, we can either uh, hide or reveal the cleanup area. So what I'll be doing is I'll be animating this value so that uh, it will create a flickering effect. So I'll go to this uh, 320 frame or something. So I will add a key, we'll set this value to 0 and uh, I'll go to the next frame and give the value as 1. I'll go to the next frame and give the value as zero so now you can see that a uh, flickering kind of an effect has been created so similarly i will also be doing for other frames so guys this is how you set the keys and uh, animate the cleanup so i hope you guys like this video so i'll be making more tutorials and new so uh, please do subscribe to my channel thanks